Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nirali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nirali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, 
We'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Bacha, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Uh, even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Bhatia. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nirali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams, but thank you. It's nice to hear it again. it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. I'm gonna enjoy the look on the Council's face when they see evidence they can't just ignore. I just hope it isn't too late. All this time we spent hunting for evidence gave Saren a nice head start. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. 
Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Not even a thank you from the Ambassador. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander.
No, I'm waiting to... Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre, Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Who told you I was a Spectre? I'm a senior officer with the Alliance. I knew about your candidacy before the Normandy was sent to Eden Prime. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll look for them if I have time. Well, that's more than most will commit to. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can get some answers. I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Please do not disturb the keepers. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big, stupid jellyfish. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. 
Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in seasick. I didn't ask for your help, human. I can deal with this myself. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. You Hanar deserve what you get. You're either too snobbish or too stupid to follow simple rules. This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it obviously wasn't going to be you. You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. So how are you liking your posting at the Academy? It's good. Busy, though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess not, but you could still use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Sure, but there's still way more complaints than the officers can handle. That's just life near the wards, kid. You'll get used to it. Looks like whoever it was bounced the signal off a hidden relay. I'll trace the new signal. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. I had to kill people for these discs. They're worth more than your offering. I didn't tell you to kill Fist, but you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so here, this should be more than adequate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. <laughs> 